What's up my fellow dudes and dudettes? This is your boy Lysos here Rachel. We're back with another video. Hope my Lysos army is doing good today. Today we're going to be reacting to another video. I kind of like the TLC, but we're going to react to a group named Jubilee. And they do a lot of more... I guess they're more for younger generations. Where they set people up in certain situations and circumstances. And they let somebody make decisions just to kind of see how that particular person thinks. So today we're going to be doing one guy, 11 girls. No. One girl, 11 guys. Got it backwards. We'll do that other one in another video. But one girl, 11 guys. And supposedly the moral to this show is she's going to not be able to see who they are. They're going to talk to her through a curtain. And she's going to pick which one she wants to go out with. I don't know how that works. But until that moment, guys, it's time to hit that like button. Hit the red subscribe button. Let's jump into the video, my dudes and dudettes. <sighs> Take a second before the video begins and please check out my sponsor, Gamer Grind Co. for the best, fine, and high quality, delicious tasting coffee for gamers. Forget G Fuel, forget all them sugary drinks. Let's go back to straight caffeine, folks. The amazing kind, the good kind, the high quality kind. If you'd like 10% off, please use my referral link down in the description and let's continue on to the video. So here we are. I take it that these people are the people who make the Jubilee episodes. Hello, good humans. This is a new episode of Versus One that we've never done. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little bit challenging, but we think it's- This is our Instagram. Okay, this is our Instagram, okay. Okay, so here we go, let's just give it to it. 11 versus one, rating 11 guys. Angel. <laughs> <laughs> She's so nervous. Really excited, but also really nervous. When you're talking to your friends, like about okay. guys, not with like a number, but we definitely like judge, I guess. I, we judge, so you pretty much judge them off of, you don't rate them, you're just like, man, that dude's ugly, that dude's good looking, that dude's really ugly, but I'd still bang him. Are you ready to rate some guys today? Sure, sounds good. <laughs> Let's right, do it. So you're pretty much doing a blind date with 11 men. Mm, that sounds iffy. Oh gosh. Oh, I can hear that. Oh my god. Yeah, that's what happens when they walk. You can hear people walk. Dude, she is she gonna rate them right in front of them? Oh no no no! Hold on, one dude I already don't like. This dude right here, he's got mismatching socks. Oh god, it, it's oh god, I'm OCD. That's that's cringe to me. That's and you came to impress a girl about being tacky, a boggin. You're the only one wearing a boggin. You're the only no, there's somebody with glasses, but you're the only one with a boggin on, and you got mismatched socks. And boot him out. Zero and zero. Hi. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh man, there's some of them that don't look that interested. Like everybody is, you can tell the ones that are really shocked because they're looking down. You can tell this guy thinks he is the shit. He thinks he's the shit. <gasps> oh, they're gonna put in headphones. <laughs> they put in headphones so she can't hear them, but she's gonna rate them right in front of them. <laughs> Starting with the guy on the left, mm -hmm. I want you to rate him on a scale of one to ten based on physical appearance. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Don't be judgy. Okay. Um, go with a four body type wow. wise. He's just not someone I would approach. What? A four? What's wrong with the boy? He's a little chunky. So what, man? So what? Like, big boys need loving, too. There's nothing wrong with... I mean, don't be judgmental. I mean, you can make him lose weight. And you can't force him to. But I'm saying, if you're somebody that works out and you date him, you might get a different body style off of him because you're being motivational. <laughs> the second guy, he's he looks like a fuck boy. But he kind of is giving me like frat boy vibes. Oh, I got it right. But she gave him a seven. She gave him a seven, even though he looks like a fuck boy. She's like, yeah, instead of being with the loyal chunky guy, I'd rather have the disloyal, dishonest fuck boy. He looks like friendly, Jason but Momoa. also like tough. He looks like Jason Momoa. Which I kind of like. 
He got an eight. Okay. Oh boy. Zero. Please zero this guy. Those socks. Mm -mm. <laughs> Don't look at me. He's not necessarily my like exact type. He's not your exact type, and that was the only thing you said. And you gave him a higher rating than the chunky guy. Mmm. Fat shaming. The next guy gets a zero. Look at those. Look at those. Look at those. I can't stand that. I can't stand that. I can't stand when it gets twisted any. Oh, that's just cringe. Fix your fucking headphones, dude. A four. He got, for the he headphones. He looks very approachable, but... Damn, he got his rubber banded and shit up here. What is it, broke, dude? You couldn't afford a new pair before you come out of here? He's a little short. He's short? Oh, what are, you, what are you gonna think about this dude right here? He's much shorter. Next one like a three just because one of my pet peeves is you have to be taller than me okay oh he smiled i like his build i feel like he takes care of himself how can how can you tell they all wear the same clothing pretty much you can tell the guys that are chunkier but you didn't say nothing about frat boy looking like he takes care of himself and this guy's pretty burly for his size oh, he looks like he'd be a fun time i guess oh that's um, it a four? A four? Why? There was no explaining there, just, just because? And then the last guy, also a four. Any reasoning there, man? <laughs> just the only Indian guy? Or, you know, you, you only, you targeted him? You just targeted him and said, ah, no explaining, but yeah, four, four, four. I did not like that. <laughs> But it was good. It was good? Okay, so let's see. Chungus got a four. Frat Boy got a seven. Jason Roma got an eight. Mismatch Sock Boy gets six. No explanation for four. Oh, well, yeah, he was Mr. Tangle Buds. Five because he was short. Three because he was way too short. Seven because he takes care of himself. Seven because he looks like a good time. And the last two guys, she ran out of explanations to give for the people that she finds unattractive and just said four, four. Let's give it four. Four. Angela now has three minutes to speed date each guy without seeing them and then rate their personalities. Okay. Okay, so this is very interesting. So, oh, dude, I paused at the wrong moment. Okay, so she has, so I prefer, I like to believe that most women will vote off personality. Right? Unless you're shallow. <laughs> this is so awkward. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name's Julio. I'm Angela. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I just want to say, like, you're really pretty. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And have you ever been to um, Eden Canyon? No, I haven't been. If I ever do get the chance to take you out there, you know, and I see you smiling, I think that'll be like the best part of the hike. On paper, like. Oh God, it's the way you talk. If I ever take you out there and we eat somewhere, I just think seeing you smiling while you scarf down food is the best part of it. <sighs> like he sounded really cool, but I don't know. I feel like just. That connection you look for. Yeah, there was like, no I connection, really honey. All that. A four? What? He got he got dual fours. Mm, you're eliminated, bud. Do you watch uh, Stranger Things? I honestly didn't really like it that much, so. <laughs> I do! <laughs> So, so she must have really hated the TV series Stranger Things. As soon as he got up, no matter what else they talked about for the next two minutes, as soon as he got up, she said, yeah, he gets a fucking two. I hate Stranger Things. Looking like Jared Leto reject. A good day would be Jason an arcade Mom. or bowling. Well, oh, he like seems bowling. the type. What's your favorite food? Probably Italian food. I love bread. Good answer. <laughs> what? I could feel myself, like, smiling the whole time. And he likes bread. The man got a double eight just because he said he likes bread? Is that all it takes to pick up women? Like, uh, not texting, not going out on dates, not intimacy, no sex, no nothing like that. It's just, <laughs> my name. My name's Lightchill. I like bread. Italian herbs and cheese. Wheat. Whole grain. Don't matter. Bread. Bread. What's your credit score? I don't know. What? Yeah, I mean, you should know your credit score. Well, what's your credit score? Well, I'm not trying to flex, but it's like 720. How do I figure out my credit? <sighs> the, that's the first thing you say we get up to or not to get to know. So what's, <laughs> what's your credit score, babe? I'm not trying to flex. Mine's like <laughs> 720. 
And the whole time he's like, he's very self confident. He's like, well, I mean to flex, but <laughs> it's seven twenty. I did score. And she still gave him a six. I take the MCAT in like a month. That's eight hours long. Dang. Good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like a six. What? I don't think I'm a bad person. Putting that out there, I'm like a okay person. Maybe good. <laughs> I just was trying not to laugh. Hey, if you make her laugh or talk about bread, you got. What it. about boba? Oh, yeah, Can I love boba. Boba? Boba Fett? Star Wars? Wait, what are we talking about? Wait, where do you go? There's this place called Marugame on Sato. That's pretty good yes, too. Yes, I actually was just there last. Oh, week. you went to Marugame? <laughs> I went there on Friday. It's so good. It's so good. It got me really excited to go on a really cool first date. A nine! That's better than bread, Mr. Jason Momoa. So all you gotta do is talk about bread or anything that's food related and the chick's like, <coughs> we're gone. I also really, really like to cook. I'm right? actually getting into cooking right now too. What's your like signature dish? I'm actually working with my mom on it, but uh, the other day we made a jambalaya. Oh, that was good. really good. Jambalaya. Oh, jambalaya sounds really good. Damn, she's giving people that say anything about food uh, in the higher. Philippines. Wait, Basically, I was born up. there too. Oh, yeah. really? You're really Filipino? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. We should make our parents proud and date. <laughs> I've actually never, like, dated, like, someone with my same culture. So he gets to seven. Did you yeah. go to, like, Coachella the last few weekends? No, I didn't. I am predicting that Rihanna is going to headline next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rightfully so, a four. What? Who cares about Rihanna? And he's totally a Rihanna fan girl, isn't he? I mean, I totally predicted Rihanna's going to be there. What's it got to do with getting to know me? I did aerospace engineering and math. Dude, he's smart as shit. <laughs> it's not as crazy. I'm studying pre-med biology right now. I'm Making stuck. your parents proud. <laughs> I feel like he was just really easy to talk to. An eight? <gasps> he didn't even talk about food. She likes a man with brains. Oh, okay. 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 If you get to choose one. She gets to choose. One? Personality, this is right? very nerve wracking. Probably the personality guy. Because I feel like if you look pretty but I like, can't talk to you about anything, it's like, how is that gonna go? <gasps> no, God, I wasn't paying attention. The dude she rated the lowest on physical appearance is her greatest personality. Whoa, that's the one I was talking about, Boba, or whatever, the food and stuff. What's up? Nice What's to up? talk to you again. Nice to talk to you again. Too. <laughs> So I sweet, just have a lot of I sent them. To know you. I enjoy talking to you as well. So you just want to keep getting to know each other a little bit more? I mean, if you want to. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> he looks like he'd be a superhero like the Titan show on DC Network. Do you guys want to see each other face to face? Sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I've seen you, so it's probably more of a oh, yeah. surprise <laughs> for you, but. Up. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's shorter than you. He's taller than you standing here, girl. What? She rated him low because he wasn't tall enough. And look, he's taller than her. Appreciate you rating my personality pretty high. Yeah, no, <laughs> definitely. We had a lot in common. Yeah, it made no. me yeah, you didn't have the, the look part of it, though. Is she going to have to tell him that she rated him a three <laughs> and break his spirit? Really hungry. Is Brandon you know what? Usually, like, looks-wise, no, but, like, personality-wise, like, I rated you the highest, so I'd be open to it, I guess. Cool. <laughs> a high five. High five, small hug. <laughs> a small hug. That hug. was so awkward. <laughs> Usually, when I pick people now, it's, like, at a social setting, and it's definitely all by looks because I don't get to talk to all of them. Uh -huh. It's definitely changed my perspective a little bit on, like, how I go about, like, dating, I guess. I <laughs> really? I shouldn't just date because of looks, so maybe I should get to know the person some. Hmm. But no, I would look at men with big, burly muscles and just pick him. That's what's wrong with you. Appreciate her bringing out the person that has the highest personality, because I think that you can grow to become physically attracted to them if you and if your personalities align very well. Do you want to know what she rated you? <gasps> oh, do you want to know what she rated you by looks? Uh oh. It's all good, I mean. Too short, bud. I was standing next to some pretty tall dudes. I'm a sex symbol, so. I'm a sex symbol. No, you look like a Keebler elf. Jesus, look at you. Ah, oh, dude. I'm not a sex symbol. <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> I'm hoping she didn't like give me a zero. All right, thank goodness. Her personality is raising a nine. Damn, boy. <laughs> Lowest and the highest. Oh, yeet. Wow. Oh, yeet. Did you say, oh, yeet? Oh, yeet. Is there captions for yeet? <laughs> oh, yeet. Oh, yeet. That's cool. Wow. That's dope. I mean, we doubled right there. That's like. I want to wait to see the video. Bro, it's something about something about Stranger Things killed you. It shot you right in the foot before we even got off the get go. Well, my fellow dudes and dudettes, that that just goes to show you that it, uh, looks aren't all that matter in this life. That sometimes, uh, if you can take the time to get to know somebody like you're supposed to, instead of being one of the people that are like, oh yeah, he's attractive, I want to be with him, da, 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 and then you get into a relationship and it's toxic, and you're like, I never saw it coming. Did you? How long did y'all talk before y'all got married? Uh, three weeks? That, yeah, that's not enough. You need to know somebody for an extended period of time. Regardless of looks, sometimes the people that aren't the most attractive to you will probably, you know, the old saying, opposites attract. You know, it's actually a real thing. Um, some people have better personalities. Not saying that you can't be attractive and have a personal, you know, a personality that you someone could love, but some most of the time, for most people, they're looking for one thing instead of both, so they, they tend to pick one or the other. With that being said, my fellow dudes and dudes, this has been Jubilee's One Girl Eleven Guys. We're gonna be doing some more of these. Hopefully, if you guys are interested, please drop a comment down below, and I will get to those videos if you request them. And until the next video, my fellow dudes and dudes, be sure to hit that red subscribe button, hit that like button. Until the next video, this has been Lashley Rage signing off. Peace out, dudes and dudes.